Hi, in this video I'm going to give a quick walkthrough of our character transfer feature in audio to face. So let's do that. I'm first going to open our eyes in version 1 here. These are the sample files that ship with A2F. I got it here. I'm going to add the light just by dragging in the demo lights here. All good. Um, next, I'll go to the character transfer tab. First thing we need to do is to add the mail template. So do that. Click this button here and we, we got mark loaded here. So I'm going to bring this character up. And when you have this kind of like selection, it's good to switch to the prim selection. So I'll go with that. And now I can move this character on the side of our target one. There we go. So all good. We line this up here just is for us to easy to see. So next I'm going to pick the meshes. So I'll go with the driver mesh will be this gray one and it's called mark. So I'll go here mark. The target mesh will be we want to target on this character and it's the skin mesh here. So we're going to do that. This skin mesh doesn't contain like eyelashes, eyebrows, or anything. So this is purely just a one continuous mesh of the skin. So no separate islands or anything like that. And lastly, I'm going to pick the open mouth mesh here, the green one, which I'm going to use for tagging the points. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, and then I'm done tagging the points. Basically, I have two points for each eye, four points on the mouth, one on the nose, chin, and on the on one on each ear. So that's it, and I can click done adding. If we need to adjust any points, we can easily go to edit mode, and then we can click and drag the points again to wherever we want to be. Um, click done editing if we want. Um, Next, I'm going to begin fitting. All right. So the result of the fitting is that we have this the our character um, now looking like our tag mark here with open mouth. Next, I'm going to do is I'll do the begin post wrap with the fitted mesh already selected here. All right, so we're almost done here. We don't no longer need to see this point, so I can just hide them. What we're missing here is now we need to have A to F driving this character. So I'm going to um, do that by go to A to F and then I'll select this mesh here and I'm going to click A to F pipeline. So plus A to F pipeline with this mesh selected. It's going to ask me if I want to attach this A to F mesh or not. I choose yes. Once the A to F pipeline is attached, we have the audio player that we can then start scrubbing and you'll see that it's now driving this character as well. So I'll play just one audio. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. All right. So what we're missing here is just the eyebrow here that is currently not driven by this mesh yet. So let's do that real quick. I'll go to Character Transfer tab, and I'm going to bring up the Wrap UI. And then I'm going to go to the stage and select my driver mesh. So on the wrap UI, you can see that I have to first select the driver, which is this mesh here. And then I'm going to select the two brow meshes and keep, hit apply. All right. Once this is done, you can see that now we can go back to audio to face and I can play this again. The beige hue on the waters of the lock 
and you can see that now the eyebrows are moving. All right. Let's try our live mode. That is the end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye. -bye.